Hi friends, welcome to day nine of Advent. Today is going to be my wrap up for the Tis the Season Athon. I posted a TBR for the Tis the Season Athon and the Romance Takeover Readathon, which is actually still going on. But I posted that last week, so I will link that in the description box below as well as in the cards if you'd like to check that out. Today we're going to do a wrap up for the Tis the Season Athon, which ended a couple of days ago. Um, did I do well? I don't really know. Uh, we'll talk about it and then we can decide what I actually was able to accomplish. Per my planner page that I have for the readathon, the group book was In a Holidays by Christina Lauren, and I did read that. I ended up giving that a 3.75 out of 5 stars. I liked the first half, and then as it went on, I liked it less and less as things progressed. I take issue with the end. I did this in my wrap up. I talked about it in my wrap up for the month of November because I did technically finish it in November. Yeah. Uh, but th there were just things that I didn't love and that's okay. But I did finish the book. So group book. Check. Uh, next was to read a holiday themed book. And for that, I had picked My New Crush Gave to Me by Shani Petroff. Once again, didn't read it. Uh, this is like the third year it's been on my Tis the Season of Thon TBR and uh, the third year that I have not started reading it. I do hope and plan to still get to it in December, but we'll see what happens. Did I read any other holiday themed books? Though technically I did read In a Holidays, which is a holiday themed book. So are we counting that as a check? I think I will. Next was to read a book that you have meant to get to this year. And for that, I picked Undercover Bromance by Alyssa K. Adams. And I did indeed finish this. I give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. This is the follow-up to last year's Bromance Book Club. I loved this. It was amazing. Really, really, really enjoyed this. I love Mac. He was so much fun to read and to get his perspective. Um, one of my favorite things is like in... Um, the bromance book club he was one of the biggest like pushers to get the other guys to talk about their feelings and in this book he was like i can't talk about my feelings it hurts so much and they're like yeah dude and you made us do it so now you're gonna do it too that was great loved that so the book you've meant to get to check next was to read a book with lights on the cover and for that i picked wrapped up for christmas by caitlin duncan i did start this i have not finished it yet do plan to continue reading it for the rest of the week and hopefully will finish it, but didn't finish it in time for it to count towards the readathon. Don't know that anything else that I read had lights on it. I think In a Holidays does have lights on it, but like how many books, how many times can I count that book for a challenge though? Probably shouldn't count it again, but I started reading this and I will accept that. I also attempted to read One Day in December for this. I kind of like started doing something else in the middle and this because this has a light on the light post and I DNF'd this so like do we count it do we not count it I don't really know I'm gonna say I read part of this and DNF'd it and I started reading this and I'm continuing to read this so I'm calling it a check check then we had to read a diverse book and for that I picked Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert and I did indeed finish this book I give this a 4.75 out of 5 stars. This is a follow-up to last year's Get a Life Chloe Brown. Uh, loved it. I love Zaff and Danny. They are like couples goals for real. Dr. Rug Bay for sure. Diverse book. Check. And the last was to read a cozy book. And for that, my choice was The Christmas Sisters by Sarah Morgan. And as you can tell from the bookmark in it, I started reading it and I have not yet finished it. This is what I'm currently listening to on audio. Um, just didn't get through the books as quickly as I had expected. Don't know why I would think that like with everything going on in my personal life and work and baby showers and, and doing an Advent video every day that I would think that I would have time to read seven books in seven days. But 
I, I don't know. <laughs> but also, do I count this? Do I count this because I started reading it? Because nothing else that I've read really counts as a cozy read. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can really count. I mean, I actually would kind of count this as a cozy read for me. Just because I see so much of myself in Danny that like it felt like being wrapped in a warm blanket. But I don't think I can really count this as a cozy read. So I'm going to give myself a half check for starting this book. So a partial check, if you will. So I had six books picked. I ended up finishing three, DNF'd another one, and started two. I feel pretty good about that. Like, I think that's a great first seven days. I feel like reading three books, starting two books, DNFing another book. It's a lot of books in seven days. So feeling pretty good about that. Let me know in the comments below if you guys took part in the Tis the Season of Home this year and how you did. If you have a wrap-up video, tell me about it. I would love to go check it out. We also need to do today's creator spotlight. I went ahead and pulled this from the bags on the shelves because it's a pain in the butt to take the bags off of there, especially when it's in the middle of the line. So I just went ahead and pulled it. Um, I already know who it is because I cheated. Of course, it's my game. So is it cheating? Today we get Hudson McCarthy. Hudson is a writing author tube channel and she does both vlogs and writing sprints. I think one of the more recent videos was like an aesthetic vlog uh, or like a room tour or something of that sort. So if you're not subscribed to Hudson, go check her out, see if you are compatible, and maybe give her a subscribe because she's awesome. That's going to be it for me today. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button because it changes colors and it makes the algorithm happy. And if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>